Hi, I'm Jason Bellini in Beijing. U.S. swimmer Ian Crocker was in an unenviable position Saturday morning. He was racing against Michael Phelps in the 100-meter butterfly, win the race, and he would have been the villain of Beijing. On the other hand, this was perhaps his last opportunity to win a gold medal of his own. He finished in fourth place. Earlier this week, I met Crocker's parents. It was at a Meet the Parents luncheon and press event, and I was touched by how they described what it's like to be the parents of an Olympic athlete and the perspective that they try to offer their son. Meet Gail and Rick Crocker. I could liken being the mom of an Olympic, um, an Olympian, to being in my eighth month of pregnancy and wondering, will everything turn out all right? Will this baby be healthy? Will he be happy? What will he be like? Um, there's that vulnerability absolutely every time that hasn't diminished no matter what international races we've been at or how many. Um, there's the butterflies in our stomach and all I care about, all I care about is that he's happy with his swim. Of course, knowing Ian, that means a lot, but, but really that's what's most important. And I would, I would say, echo that, and I think I, the, one of the things that I suggested to him as he was preparing for this was one simple thing, uh, have fun, because experiences like this don't come back again quite frequently, so as much as you can, enjoy the moment, because it is a gift, and uh, enjoy the place where you are, because uh, you may not be there again, so savor it. What's the best part about being here at the Olympics as a parent? I think beyond watching him compete is how much visiting China, Beijing at least, is the only place we are going, but um, has increased our appreciation of the diversity in the world and the richness and the depth that can be found there. It's opened up a whole world for me as a parent. It sounds like your son's given you a gift that you might yes. not have had otherwise. It, you're right. It, it is a gift. And it certainly, uh, as Gail said, it's lent to our appreciation of uh, uh, the better parts of mankind and how we all are very much the same, no matter where you go in the world. How important is it to go home with a medal for this to be an experience that was wonderful and worthwhile? Uh, He's been to three Olympics. Whatever he does from this point, it's frosting on the cake. We consider he's already done an amazing job and he's worked for 18 years harder than anyone I know. So it'll be good. And truthfully, that is my answer. Yeah, and I would agree with that. Certainly uh, a medal of some sort would be nice. Uh, you, uh, a lot of people come to the games and don't come away with nothing but the experience. So. Uh, as I told him uh, in Athens uh, four years ago, he was kind of uh, uh, a little disappointed that he'd had a bronze medal. And I said, Ian, a lot of people come here and come away with nothing but what they what they've experienced. And I said, you've got you've got something to, to actually show for it. So you have absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. Now, you got nothing to be ashamed of just being in the Olympic Games. It's quite a quite an honor and a privilege to have worked to the point where you've achieved this goal, and that to me is the most important thing: is that you're here, you're experiencing something that very few people get a chance to experience on any level, and feel fortunate that you're here. And if you come away with something that you can show your grandchildren, you've done you've done a good job. If not, you've still done a good job. You don't seem to me like the kind of parents who are always driving your your son. I mean, you're not. You don't seem like, the, the, like you're the super demanding type. Swimming has been the medium in which Ian um, really was passionate. And so as a parent, to use that to help him develop as a whole person and a good human being, that, that is what's, what our medal is. And so. I think at the end of the day, no matter what you do, I think if you can maintain your humanity and be a decent human being, I think that's really the most important thing. And that you recognize uh, through your own personal achievement, no matter what it is, that you know you can help other people by what you do and how you're an example to, you know, maybe they can be a better person too. So.